This is a crazy shoe. <laughs> Hello? Hello? A lot of people don't know. This is an SB2, man. The Jordan 1 LA to Chicago joints. One of my favorite sneakers in my collection. But today is part two of my favorite SBs in my sneaker collection. Y'all showed so much love on part one. I had to come right back with part two. Let's get it. Cardia Jones on the soundtrack. quick b-roll of part one of my favorite sbs in my collection again i didn't want to make the video too long but i didn't know i made it too short too so that that's on me guys my bad um this one a little longer less longer or less short let's get to it man one of my favorite sbs in my collection is sandy bodega ebay dunk and um a lot of people ain't like this dunk and I get it, man. If your sock game ain't crazy, this probably not the dunk for you. But when I first saw pictures, I wanted it. Then I saw the cause, the reason behind it. I definitely wanted it. So I went and got it, man. I didn't get it for retail. I did have to pay resale. But at the time, resale was $150. Right now, maybe a little higher, $190, $200. Again, people's not feeling it. But if you look at the cause for this sneaker and the money it donated, I'm with it, man. I don't buy my sneakers off eBay, but this is a great nod to the eBay colors. It's just a crazy shoe in general, but your sock game got to be prolific, guys. I really like this shoe, man, and it's one of my favorite and creative and crazy sneakers in my collection. You see, you got SB at the back with the swoosh, and a lot of people think that SB stands for Sandy Bodecker. Because he got a lot to do with SBs. <laughs> but it's very dope, man. You got the uh, Nike SB Forever on the tongue. The slime green in the inside. And then, of course, the see-through holes, man. Dope sneaker. The see-through even goes to the bottom. Some kind of impulse, I believe it's a text message. A few moments later. That's why this is one of my favorite SBs in my sneaker collection. Y'all see that? Nike by you. And y'all like, dang, how could he be so self-centered that a sneaker he created is one of the best in his sneaker collection? It's not because I created it. Shout out to Nike for even giving us the, um, the, 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 the nod or the chance to even make our only SB. Well, only dunk. Because this is not an SB. It's a dunk, guys. But I wanted to show it to you guys because it is one of the best sneakers in my collection. And it is a dunk, but it's not an SB, so put the, put the warning and all that stuff up there. But look, the reason why this is one of my favorite sneakers, dunks, in my sneaker collection is because it's in Kobe colors. Y'all know I love Kobe, man. So when I did this design, Kobe was in mine. The gold, the purple, the purple shoelaces, the black on the bottom for the black mamba. Like, I was just thanking Kobe all the way with this sneaker. All the way, man. So this is why it's one of my favorites. It's not an SB, but it's a dunk. So I just wanted to show you guys this. Next up is the Pink Pig. And design-wise, it's really not crazy. Um, It's one of my favorites because when the Pigs Fly SB Dunk came out, I wasn't in the game. I was more of a Jordan 1 head. Um, so dunks were like under my radar, but being that I couldn't get it back then, when it came out with something that looked similar to it, I was on it, guys. Again, this is one of the sneakers you can get for like that three hundred dollar price range now, but when they dropped, they were like a buck fifty, buck seventy five easily for like maybe a year to a year and a half. But man, the quality on this sneaker out of control, guys. You get red shoelaces. It does come in the same pink of the sneaker. But the quality, guys, this new Buck suede is different. It's different. It's so soft, I, I wouldn't say wear it in the rain. 
and I went and wear like dark colored jeans on top of it because it fades in a little bit. But man, one of the dopest sneakers, the red outline with the red shoelaces, it just brings it all together, man. Black bottom, even pink on the bottom also. This is one of those ones, man. At first, it wasn't when it dropped, but now you can see prices increasing every other week. Pink Pigs. Staying with that P word, the brown Paisley SB Dunks. This is like kind of new. I think about like two and a half years this sneaker been out. But man, the Paisley prints in the inside, man, on a whiteout. Like this just is just like a whiteout swoosh. Like you remember school when you used to have the whiteout? Look at that swoosh. Pearl white, guys. Not an off-white, not a sale white. Even the shoelaces is in that white just like the swoosh. Nice caramel gum bottom, but the details in the Paisley, the bandana print is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Look at that, man. You would think that, um, because you know, last year, um, Nike SB did a lot of collabs with skate shops from the West Coast, California. You would think they would have been the first to do the Paisley thing, you know, with the gang coach and all that, but man. These are out the park, man. Just looks like a chocolate candy bar with Paisley on it. Um, dope shoe, man. Look at the leather, man. I can't say much about this. This is one of my favorite SBs in my collection. Um, I did not check prices on this. It's been a while since I brought this shoe. Um, I did pay retail for this one. The sneaker wasn't sought after neither, man, but it, the number's probably a little up now. Because once you get this sneaker in hand, you fall in love with it. Paisley, Brown, Nike SBs. And you knew we was getting here eventually, right? The Powerpuff SB joints. Um, one of the best collabs in SB period, but definitely in the last couple of years. I don't think it's been a better collab like put together like this since the Chunky Donkeys. Like they hit on all three sneakers. As y'all know, I have all three sneakers. But um, I'm a little biased. The pink ones were the better ones, in my opinion. Um, A lot of people didn't like the buttercup ones, but I like those too. But the way they put the sugar and spice on this one, you can't tell if this sneaker's leather, new buck suede, satin. Like, they just did their thing. But my favorite part of the sneaker, and it's on all three, is the tongue, man. The tongue is dope. I already told y'all, I wouldn't have cared that they put this tongue all over the sneaker. It would have been dope. But the eyes with the eye wink, man. The, the Blossom, right? Yeah, Blossom. These are my favorite ones out of the pack. Making it one of my favorite SBs in my collection. Where, where, where we at with time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got one more for you guys. And it's a new one, but I fell in love with it. ASAP, and it is the Nike SB Aprils, man. Like, I wanted to make this sneaker of the year last year, but it came out like Thanksgiving, Christmas, just like the Powerpuff Girls. So I kind of like defaulted because I was like a prisoner of the moment. But this sneaker's fire. I mean, we've seen renditions of this colorway. Of course, we had the... uh. Turbo green Jordan ones. This is not the turbo green, but same material as what I'm trying to show you guys. So we seen this material, and we seen this colorway. These are the foam posits, man. And um, I think these were called like something green. Forget, but we seen the colorway, man. And foam posits are trying to come back. I I got a couple pairs over there. Once they come back, I'm ready for it. But yeah, man, like. This, this These April joints, the mirror swoosh is what did it for me. The, the mirror swoosh alone did it for me, man. The chrome uh, logo on the back. This is definitely one of my favorite SBs in my collection. Yes, sir. So, again, that's part two of my favorite SBs in my sneaker collection, man. Thanks for showing so much love to part one. Um, It will be a part three. Probably not as soon. Well, listen. Get this up to 20 likes, and I get part three to y'all in a couple of days. All I'm asking for is 20 likes, man. Um, in the comment section below, let me know what SBs you want to see. If I have them, I will show them. I did get rid of a lot. Um, I got rid of both running jewel joints. I just I just couldn't find like a, 
a great outfit to match with those. But if I got them, put them in the comment section below and I'll show them in depth, man. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Everybody, get rich.